Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge fan of the BMW in cylinder speakers. After months of waiting, the BMW has finally arrived. So let's kick back, relax, and let's start the intro. What's going on YouTube? This is Max coming back at you once again with another video. This time, I finally got my in and speakers. If you like this type of content, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like button and that subscribe button, i greatly appreciate it. All right, so I finally got my in and speakers for the Bowles and Wickham's CCM662s. If you guys didn't know, I mentioned it in the intro that I'm a huge fan of the BMWs in and speakers. So if you are new to the channel or if you probably never uh, knew i already have some bmws and cylinder speakers but they are the 663s that i have in the living rooms and since i just got my basement uh finished i decided to go ahead and go a step higher and upgrade to the 662s so if you didn't know about the bmw 662s they have a response frequency between 45 and 50 and it has a maximum peak and power of 150 watts. I purchased four insulin speakers so I'm planning on doing a 7.2.4 surround sound but the other speakers and I mentioned this in my previous video are slowly getting in. If you watched my previous video, I already had the Kef center speaker, the R2C, and now I just got the BMW CCM662. Hopefully, I will get my surround sound in a couple of weeks, uh, along with my floor standard speakers, the Kef R11s. <sighs> Trying to be patient, but Sometimes I'm just so anxious to get my speakers. It's been close to three months since I purchased these and they are slowly coming in. So I'm doing the best I can with my patience, but I'm just happy and blessed enough to get these speakers. So one of the main reasons why I chose these speakers instead of the calves and ceiling speakers is more on the adjustable off axis, the tremble response. You will see later in this video that you can adjust the actual housing pivots where you can show where or hear where the sound is being bounced off of. And it's pretty neat how BMWs have implemented this on the in cylinder speakers. So I could go ahead and adjust it however way or any direction that I need to where depending on where I sit. So that was one that was one of the driving features of why I went with BMWs and ceiling speakers. It's because on my 663s that I have currently have in the living room, I can easily go ahead and adjust the pivot but uh based off my seating arrangement. With the Kefs and ceiling speakers, you don't have that much of an adjustment. You have to be in a certain vicinity in the area and it's not adjustable when it comes to their uh, off axis portion of it. So that's why I went more with the BMW just because of my use case scenario. It might be different for other people, for, for me, it's one of the things that drove me into back to BMWs for ceiling speakers. As I'm currently unboxing the CC, uh, CCM662, one thing I have noticed uh, while doing some research, looking at YouTube, I haven't seen a unboxing, a full unboxing of in cylinder speakers, especially for BMW. So I thought this was a great opportunity just to give everyone a idea of what you're getting outside of the uh, outside for the BMWs specifically and showing you a little bit of the installation. One thing I will say about in ceiling speakers, if you don't have this prepped, then it could be a it could be a challenging process of getting these installed. With me, if you looked at my 
basement renovation you can see that I already had speaker wires already set up. I have a speaker uh, back box that was already installed. So the only thing that I need to do right now is strip some of the speaker wire and go ahead and just do the installation. So that's what I'm about to go ahead and show you right now. So if you already know and you looked at a lot of my previous other videos, you saw that there was a lot of holes in my ceiling. So I have four holes in my end ceiling speakers. I was waiting for the BMWs to arrive so the only thing I needed to do was is go ahead and get some uh, wire splitters and split you know the wires and and go ahead and just install the housing for the BMWs which is pretty simple when they have this this little clamp feature that is pretty much it, it really is just a plug-and-play once you have everything situated but uh, after you have that installed, you go ahead and just put the, the the speaker, and it's pretty much just good to go. And you can see right now, as I'm doing the installation, I'm trying to make sure I get the speaker wire all nice and neat. And once I once I get the housing out of the way that I want, and getting the speaker facing the direction that I need, it just just as I mentioned, it's pretty simple. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that type of installation, of course, go ahead and hire some a specialist. For me, I, I was going to have Best Buy go ahead and do it, but they did the initial speaker speaker installation, and I just really couldn't wait for them to come back out. So I went ahead and just did it myself. So, so once I got the speaker housed in the house the way that I want it, make sure it's cleaned up. You can see that it's nice and flush flush with my in ceiling so now I'm just making sure that the wires are nicely tucked in and making sure that the clamps are secure before I go ahead and install the speaker so this is one thing that I will advise everyone just if you plan on installing yourself just make sure that everything is clamped make sure everything is uh, secure when it comes to flush with the seal and ceiling. I noticed that when I first did the first install, certain parts of it was kind of like drooping down. The reason why is because I didn't use the clamp correctly, but the speaker didn't fall out. Just I don't want to make somebody aware it, it didn't fall out, but just make sure that you use the clamps correctly, just as is mentioned in the guideline. But other than that, it's pretty simple. And then once you get the speaker installed, it's pretty much a couple of pieces. It's, it's kind of like some magnetic screws that you go ahead and you could just press in. And then once you press, you hear a clicking feature that you know that is safely installed within the ceiling. So you'll see that as well once I go ahead and pick up the speaker. Now that I have the mount, installed and it's all flush within the end ceiling you can see that i have tucked in the speaker wire and that making sure that it's not showing or touching anything now i'm about to go ahead and install the speaker with the 662 and even the 663 i can't think of the other models they have this push lock fastener that I, I said it was like a magnetic screw, but it's really a push lock fastener where you go ahead, once you put the speaker in, you got to connect it, which is pretty simple to do. There are some push locks that looks like screws, and you don't have to get a screwdriver or flathead screwdriver to twist it. The only thing you have to do is use your hand or your, I use my thumb, and you go ahead and press it in and you hear this clicking feature to know that it was installed. And you can see right here is, is three, I think it's maybe four of those push locks fasteners. So once you do that, you can see that it's pretty self, self explanatory once you take a look at it. But going back to the tweeter, one of the main benefits for the BMWs is that you could tilt the tweeter in certain angles or directions just as I mentioned earlier in this video so those are one of the big driving features of why I purchased the BMWs 
just because depending on my listening area, I may have to tilt the tweeters a, a certain direction just to make sure that I'm getting the sound angled at a particular area. And also by using the pivot, they do have a three position EQ switch that offers a better off axis response. Now, everybody wants to know how these ensilling speakers sound. One, one word I can say is amazing. Is it upgrade over the 663 that I currently have in the living room? Yes, it is a huge improvement. And especially when I'm using my Yamaha A8A receiver, these things really do a good job. Now, I can't talk about all the features yet because I'm waiting for my other speakers, my in-wall speakers to be coming in too. And those are also BMWs, but I'm not gonna talk about the actual model number until everything arrives first. But once I get all my speakers, I am gonna do a demo for everyone. Just, it's not gonna be perfect because you are listening to this through YouTube and you would have to use your headphones for this type of case, but from my experience in trying to relay how these speakers perform, these in-cylinder speakers are they great. They're top-notch, especially for my use case scenario and how the way that I'm going to be using them, especially with using the uh, tweeter pivot and also the EQ switch where you can switch the angle off axis angle of where you want to position the sound going to so you may not be able to see right behind me because I have a whole bunch of lights but uh, a couple of those speakers that I have is like directly one is right behind me and I have another one that's in my front uh, front area but for my use case I have four in-cylinder speakers I plan on getting four in-wall speakers and I'm still missing my two front speakers my kefs so if people want to know why why I didn't do all kefs or why I didn't do why why I didn't do all BMWs, it's because I was going to do all BMWs, but when I listened to the kefs front speakers and the center, center speaker, it it changed my whole outlook of how I felt about the BMWs. But I was very very adamant that I wanted to get the insulin and in wall speakers just because for my use case for the speakers and the price range that I bought my in wall speakers they have uh BMWs the ones that I'm about to get has back boxes speaker back boxes and if I wouldn't want the Kef route they didn't have the back boxes and it just for me I didn't want no sound leaking to other areas around the house. So that was kinda like one of the other things that I was very adamant of going the BMW route. And the other thing, the reason why I went for the in-cylinder speakers is just like how I mentioned before, is I could pivot compared to KEFs. You can't pivot uh, the position of the speakers and stuff. You had to make sure that you put in the right area where you're gonna be sitting at, which is gonna be kind of difficult to do because if I decide to do theater scenes or I wanna do a sectional, then it's kind of hard to put in those type of positions of where I want to have the speakers. So that's just kind of like my thoughts. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the unboxing and a little bit of the insulin speaker installation. I know I didn't go full blown installation because that would have been a very, very long video. So for time wise, I just did kind of something short and sweet. But if you have any questions about these insulin speakers or matter of fact, any of my other videos, just go ahead and hit the comments. But uh, if you like this type of video, go ahead and do me a favor by hitting that like and that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Take care.